Leon, how did you assess your team's performance in getting two points back on the board after last night? Um, I thought we started slow and then we kind of found our legs and I thought actually for, yeah, maybe, I don't know, 45 minutes of the game were actually really good. Um, you know, we, we kept them in their zone, kept it fairly simple. Um, every line was kind of kind of going and um, obviously you need that, but um, you know, we, we obviously want to limit those those last two goals at the end there to to make it a tight game it's it's kind of unnecessary but um, we'll learn from it and, and uh, you know get that out of our game. Uh, your head coach electing to go with you McDavid and Cassian on a line. You guys have had success in long stretches in the past. What is it about Zach Cassian's game that complements yours and Connor's so well? I think he knows how to play with good players, right? Uh, he reads he reads the game really well. Um, big body, he goes to the net. He knows where to go to to be effective and and give up, give us the room that we need um, to to make plays or create something. So, um, yeah, we we obviously love playing with him. Uh, he's a great player. So, um, you know, he he had a big night. He was really good tonight. Uh, did Connor apologize about not getting you the puck on that empty netter? Because I know he was trying. No, I don't need an apology. That's okay. <laughs> I I almost had to apologize to him because drag dragged my leg a little bit there. It was close, but thankfully he went in. Well, Leon, I know you're not one to really comment on yourself, but you achieved a feat tonight that is pretty incredible. You're the only player in franchise history, not named Wayne Gretzky, to hit 40 points before the 20-game mark. What's it like to be in that kind of company with the greatest player of all time? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's great, of course, um, but you know we we get a great group, and and it's about winning on our team, and and obviously that that's my way of helping the team um, from from time to time, and and you know obviously Connor helps me out so much, and um, you know with without line maids or especially Connor, but anyone really, um, you know this this is impossible, so. Um, you know, obviously, we're, we're looking to keep going. Um, you know, th these are stats that, um, at the end of the day, don't don't really matter. You talked about your group. You talked about your teammates, and they've had to rally a little bit here, especially the guys on the back end. What did you think of the defensemen tonight? Yeah, I thought they were really good. Um, you know, they kept it simple, uh, made the right place when they were there. Um, um, you know they're they're all good players. Like we we don't need to act like they've never played in the NHL. Um, you know they're all really good defensemen that you know have been in the league for a long time. Most of them at least. So um, yeah, it was it was a good night. I thought they were really good tonight. I know some of your teammates have talked about uh, you know the adversity that you guys have been facing, the the road struggles a little bit, the injuries. Could this be a rallying point for your club for the rest of the season? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean it's you always need to rally when when there's guys down, right? We're missing two of our uh, top top four defensemen, so uh, that's always a, a grind, and that's that's tough tough to compensate. But I think we're doing a really good job right now. Um, so tonight was was a step in the right direction, I thought, and um, we're obviously looking to keep that going. Take one question on Zoom, Terry Jones. Go ahead. <sighs> go ahead, Terry. Go ahead and unmute your mic, Terry. Uh, Leo, when you were a kid growing up in Germany, were you a, at all aware of the legend and lore of 50 goals in 50 games and the kind of special uh, uh, number that was, uh, is, it hasn't happened for a long, long time? Uh, and would it mean anything to you to accomplish that? <laughs> uh, first of all, no. Um, I never really got to watch the NHL when I was younger. Um, Second part, um, I think it's a little, um, I don't know what to say. I guess it's a little uh, crazy to think that I'm going to score 50 goals in 50 games. Um, you know, obviously right now pucks are going in for me, but, um, you know, this is a tough league to score in. So, um, you know, I, I don't expect to, to, to hit that stat um, at all. So, um, so obviously you're going to keep shooting if they go in great. Uh, I know there's going to come come times where they're probably not going to go in. And can you just discuss the uh, the idea of a goal a game? Uh, um, that's a pretty pretty cool number. <laughs> you expect me to score 82 goals this year? <laughs> that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. So um, again. I, 
it, you know, obviously playing with 97 makes it a lot easier. Um, a lot more free free ice out there uh, with him. But um, you know, I, I don't I don't expect that of myself. That's not anything that's uh, you know realistic. I think so. Uh, I'm just gonna yeah continue doing my thing, and, and if they go in, great. If they don't, then um, you know it's a it's a hard league to score in.